today. So Wesley was asking uh, how I set up this top-up drum uh, into this 100 litre reservoir for the hydroponics. Now what I've done, so I'll start in reverse. So it's got a float valve here. When uh, the level falls uh, below there, then the valve opens and the water tops up from that larger tank. When it's full, it shuts off. And that, I've just drilled a hole through there. Used some uh, black silicone to, because I had a tube of it, to um, seal that in and just uh, wound this up. Just finger tight and then left it 24 hours to dry. And here I'm just using irrigation fittings because it'll fit on this thread. I'm not sure what size you call, uh, call that, it's like 15 mil here. Um, so just like that, and then a bit of 19 mil poly, and what you call it in America, it's probably um, three quarter inch. And then reverse that on the other end. And then uh, this, this fitting here is a, um, uh, what they call a tank outlet. So I just drilled a hole through there. So I just drilled a hole through there. And you undo this fitting. It's a long thread. Okay, so you need to make sure the, the hole you drill on the bottom of the drum is high enough so that you've got a nice flat surface to put this onto. And then you put a bead of silicone around the inside, push that through from the inside. Screw your fitting in on from the outside. Put a bead of silicone on the outside as well. Don't be shy on the silicone, put heaps on there. And then just screw it up. Leave it 24 hours to dry, and um, you can use that. And then you can screw your irrigation fitting straight on there, and then uh, connect it through to the tank. Now, if I wanted to, I could have used a different kind of valve. I could have put a valve in there. Just shut that on and off and isolate it. It's not necessary, I can just let this run down if I want to do any work on it. And for this fitting here, I simply used a couple of more irrigation fittings, drilled a hole through there, put this on the inside, put a small um, irrigation riser in there, I screwed this on the outside, again with some silicone on there. And then for this clear pipe, I just use a, a three quarter inch, but just screwed that on there. I put the clear pipe up to the top and, and clamped that on just with the irrigation clamp. That's pretty simple. So that'll get, that gives me a sight gauge. I can see, I can see now it's there. there. It's that simple. Thank you. Got eight spots here of um, this pipe system. I'm going to put some uh, snow peas up here. I've um, propagated some from seed, and I'll just put a trellis along here, like some plastic lattice or something like that, and just grow them up there. So now I'll start being there. I'll put these um, three ghost chilies into uh, these cracky buckets. They should be fine. Leaves are looking pretty happy, they've been in for three days now and the flood and drain. I've just added today just 
five um, spring onions that were bought from the shop and just cut the tops off them and just planted the bases. So that just keeps the tank topped up at all times. Um, because these, uh, the rock melons and the pumpkins were using up over that drum a day, which is like about 80 litres. So I was using up more than 80 litres a day. So that's why I added that drum to it. So there's, I picked a bunch of rockies. There's still more cantaloupes, rockies in here. Tomatoes, a few tomatoes are opening. And um, pumpkin, there's a couple more big pumpkins to um, come off here. I was talking before about uh, powdery mildew, you can see the powdery mildew on this leaf, particularly on the back side. So what I've been doing here is just, it's quite bad there, just been spraying them once a week with Manka Z Plus. It's difficult to get all the way underneath, but I try and get all the way around underneath and just suppress them, suppress the disease. Um, these plants are nearly finished anyway, these pumpkins, so I'm sort of backing off a bit and you know, don't worry about it too much. But the rock melon, you can see where the fungicide's dried on the leaf, but I don't see any real signs of um, powdery mildew on here, which is great. Just still a few rockies up here. cuttings here. This um, is just a drum with some water and it's got some fish in there to keep the um, mosquitoes out. And so I've just got these guys that are in a, um, in a net pot, just sitting in that bucket and the water's just flowing continually through there and returning into the, um, the little drum with the fish. So, filters it and, um, and I can use this to propagate some cuttings. <laughs> 